Colleges and universities everywhere are struggling with a variety of challenges. Over-enrollment, under-enrollment, and changing demographics, to name a few. Online programs offer some relief at individual institutions, but in many cases, it's not enough. Consider bottleneck courses, for example. These are the over-enrolled prerequisite classes that students need in order to continue their studies. When students can't get the courses, they may delay graduation for several semesters. And while they wait for the bottleneck to clear, they take unnecessary courses just to keep their financial aid. Or they may drop out. Another example, under-enrollment. Consider a nursing program at a remote college where the local community needs only five new nurses each year. How can a college effectively offer all required courses to just a handful of students? Changing student demographics also present a major challenge. What we used to call non-traditional is no longer the exception. They need courses at different times to fit work and parenting schedules, and they typically don't need the campus experience. With the current focus on student outcomes and with changing student demographics, an individual institution working on its own can have a difficult time just trying to keep up. In these cases, it's the old models of higher education that prevent real solutions. Educators are questioning the historic boundaries of the campus. That's why many statewide education systems and consortia are creating course exchanges. These are programs where multiple schools pool their resources. Students in one class may come from many campuses. A professor from one school may teach at a different school. This is the virtual campus. It's breaking down the artificial barriers of traditional campus walls and moving higher education into a new set of possibilities and a brighter future.